What's that on Mad Squad? It's a me, Mad Joe FC. And we have a gameplay demo for Super Mario Odyssey. So, for those of you who do not know, I am a huge Mario fan, okay? That was the very first game I got. It was, um, I remember I was like five years old. I got Silver Game Boy, and I got Super Mario 2D World. And ever since then, I've loved Mario. I've gotten so many Mario games, Wii, Wii U, Nintendo, Game Boy, okay? So, like, I'm a huge Mario fan. I've beaten so many Mario games, and I'm so good at Mario games, okay? So, I'm super, super hyped for Super Mario Odyssey to come out, which is why I haven't gotten a Nintendo Switch yet. I'm waiting for Super Mario Odyssey to come out. Oh, this place is so pretty. So, we are in the Sand Kingdom uh, in the town of Tostarena. And uh, they had a problem now because uh, it's all frozen. Everything is cold for reasons, of course, that Mario will eventually solve. Yeah, actually, if you hang still for a second, we can show his little idle animation. He's oh, cold. yeah, yeah, yeah. Postar <laughs> Postarena. Oh, he's cold. I love the locals here, too. Yeah, I think he's distracted by the by the local dancing around, but I think if he's by himself, then he really shivers. Oh, poor Mario. Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. So what's the whole deal with the hat? I know it's it like fly. So we mentioned there's two kinds of coins in this game. Kind of like a and for the, I believe the first time in the main, main now, Mario kinda? series, you can actually buy things with your coins. And I wanted to ask the developers how that came up, you know, that currency should be worth currency. This is actually the place we saw in the trailer. Dostarina. So we wanted, you know, coins to be used as coins in this game, actually use them as money. <laughs> And you know, I think, I think you'll agree, you know, if you go you turn to a foreign land, one of the things that makes the biggest impression on you is the currency. You know, you kind of look at it and you think, wait, is this, is this real? Can I use this? Oh. And since, you know, Mario was going around to all these different kingdoms in this game, we wanted to make sure that there was a currency for each one. And you know, they're, they're a collectible item, so you can use them to uh, buy different outfits or buy souvenirs. Speaking of, <laughs> yeah, and it's always fun to buy souvenirs, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And speaking of shopping, we are now in Crazy Cap. So there's two there's two kinds of coins as we mentioned. Um, the the purple ones are unique to the the local kingdom. The yellow ones are, can be used in any shop. Uh, I'm gonna buy because the the guy at the at the door said I, maybe I should uh, I'm not living up to their dress code. Maybe I should buy some clothes to uh, fit in better. Crazy I'm buy a, cap. A local sombrero and poncho. And wait till you see how adorable uh. Mario looks. Uh. Oh, adorable! I just love the shopkeeper. Yeah, and their huge stack of hats. He's so cute. And you can see some of the, the souvenirs you can buy there that you can use to decorate the inside of the ship. Nice. Oh. Now I'm rocking this look. And That's dope. Let's go try that door again. So I guess during the game you can like um, the same. You know, I still kind have, of it's still cappy, even though he's customize his a, look a kind of and even the hat. He can turn into any kind of headwear apparently. The, the exotic superpower. <laughs> And, uh, so, you know, usually you have to get, so um, like, a certain mushroom or power block, I mean, question mark block to, um, Ooh, snappy and lively. Snappy give them a new outfit, the so, is the one the it's not like a thing in this game? Customizable skins? Alright. If it is, I believe that's new to more well, This is, of course, what, the goal I was working toward all this time. <laughs> I love all these little moments of surprise where you never really know what's going to happen yeah. when you, you get into these spaces. I don't know. I, so wanted, just, I wanted to get in the like free roaming, I assume? You want to get in because it's locked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to assume it's like part of a mission. Or... So then we're going to move on to some more traditional uh, 3D Mario gameplay over this direction. Now that you are terribly well dressed, it's time to go do some exploring. Yeah. And, and Bowser's so... footprints, I must be on the right track. <laughs> so 
So notice that by using the motion controls, I can actually use the little homing function on the hat more easily. It is possible with the, the button controls only, but it's much more difficult. Right, so does that start yeah. a stage? And let's just do a big one for, for that. I'm still trying to figure out if yeah. this if he's well, in a free roam uh, type area or on those a it's, it's not every single enemy that's capturable. That's true. Um, you've got to find the special ones. Yeah. And a lot of it's uh, having a good eye and just experimenting a lot with the cap. I think they're what? a bigger, the ones you can capture. Yo! That's dope. That is dope. And Never been able to do that before. Capture my ride back. And we've Dad. Got they, you can only capture them for a limited amount of time because at some point they're just going to blow up. Yeah. That's so you have to dope. Be a little mindful of what you're doing. Yeah, you only get so much time with the explosive guys. All right, and then. Almost to one of my favorite bits in this level. Oh yeah, the, the next bit you're coming up to just yeah. blew my mind the first time I saw it. So oh. this place has these murals that look like they're decorated in this cool old, old school aesthetic. And I'm just going to go right on in. <sighs> and I've still got my costume. Yeah. So, um, what? Kind of on I think we definitely need to hear a little bit more background about why you That's have this dope. Game, because it's so cool, but it's so unexpected as well, I think. That is dope. Um, so, we wanted to make something that would be, you know, sort of a contrast with the 3D stages that you're able to explore very freely in. You know, the 2D, the 2D spaces are kind of more confined, they're more precise, you know, it's more like kind of, uh, you know, sort of traditional platforming elements. And, but also within the 2D stages, as you can see, we wanted to have a lot of different... That's things. dope. That is dope. This is like something that's never been done before in a Mario and game, like new ways um, to get to a certain area, you know, versus 3D, and then, you know, he's now on this wall running along the wall, like, as part of the wall, you know, 2D. It's a pretty impressive transition when the music changes. And it's a new part of... And it's like a new part of... The course. You know, that's never been so done I'm gonna before. I'm going to skip ahead and uh, show off uh, the last part of this, this scenario. Uh, okay, so... For that... I will need these. Wrist straps, people. Always wrist straps. Yes. To jump in. Okay. Yeah, it's worth mentioning too that we're only covering a, a tiny bit of what is in this kingdom. There's so much yeah, more to do and explore. There's just a ridiculous amount. All right, so here we are. This is much later in the level. Uh, I've still got my snappy outfit though. And I like that. I like that new thing they've done. And I'm going to use one to break open this wall. So another thing that's really handy about the bullet bills is a capture target that you'll see here. Um, when you're trying to target for really precision flying, it's got a little bit of a headlamp. Oh, no! No! You, oh, oh. Good, good. That's okay. <laughs> but it's got a little bit of a headlamp, so you can kind of use see that to line yourself yeah. up. It's super handy. That's okay, because you get to see this cute little 2D to 3D transitioning in with bills. It's so cool. I like that. Alright. Alright, you got this. And with the bullet bills, you can also give yourself little speed bursts as well. Uh, shaking the Joy-Con will let you go That's a little bit dope. further. So it's worth experimenting once you get a feel for the timing of how long a bullet bill will last. It's kind of like driving a car. It, it, it doesn't have any brake pedal. It, you, can, you can go faster. You can steer. <laughs> but that's all you can do. Mm. All right. So Pause here we'll go back to one of the brutals. And, I'm uh, running on like 40 minutes of sleep. For this game. Um, 
they are an evil wedding planning firm, uh, and I'd love to hear more from the uh, the developers about how they came to be and what your favorite brutal is. You guys ain't invited to the wedding. So they've, you know, as you kind of said, they've they've been employed by Bowser. They're in charge of making sure his wedding goes off without a hitch. Oh. They're very serious about their work. Their work ethic is admirable. <laughs> and you know, my favorite is uh, Topper, the kind of uh, shorter one who has that uh, uh, green top hat. Yeah, guy in green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Topper. How about you, ちょうど今出てるハリエットっていうその可愛いウサギさんのキャラクターなんですけどなんか可愛い代わりにしてるのに結構強豪なんでそのコントラストがすごい面白いなと思います This is really good timing because the character I like the most is the one you're fighting right now, Harriet She has this great contrast between her cute appearance and like how devilish she is She's sort of like the uh, tricky little sister of the group here Her attacks are really fun to watch as well, especially when she starts flying around. <laughs> and it's worth mentioning, you fight each of the Brutals a few times, um, but their their tactics get more and more intense and, and dangerous. Uh, uh, but I'll be honest, having planned a wedding last year, I would take the help of evil wedding planner. Yeah, I mean, monsters. any evil help is better than no help. <laughs> and they're, they're very dedicated to their work. And they're, they're willing they to fight your enemies for you, and that's pretty great. Oh, nice. There we go. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God, I saw Sorry, Harriet. Now she'll be back. All right, so that's a grand moon worth three power moons. And there we see Cappy in his natural state yep, as well. there he is, celebrating with Mario. Wait, so that's the hat's natural so that's what we have for gameplay for right now. But we did have one more little uh, feature, I, I believe. Okay. Well, it looks good. Like I said, I haven't gotten a Nintendo Switch yet because there's no games that interest me right now. Um, I mean, obviously I'd get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I already have it on the Wii U. Um, the deluxe just you know a few more characters and new features and stuff like that but i'm waiting for um a new like completely new game that interests me and there aren't any at the moment on the switch um but yeah i'm waiting until odyssey comes out then i'll get a switch uh but yeah looks good um I like the, I kind of explained already, but I like the new feature to where it's like, um, you know, kind of structures, different structures and buildings kind of become a part of the course and a part of the level and then it's a level on its own, you know, with the 2D stuff. That's completely new and something that they haven't done before. Um, so, I like how they're doing that. I like that we're getting another 3D Mario game. Um, the last 3D Mario game I really, 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 really loved was Galaxy 2. And that's that was a long time ago. Um, so, yeah, this one looks promising. Like all Mario games. Um, I've never been to Paper Mario, though. I, I just... I've never played any of them, but it's because I've always looked at it, and it's like, I just know I wouldn't like it. Just paper, mark, no, no, I, just, I wouldn't like it. Um, but, yeah, and so I assume in this one, Bowser is, so in the previous games when he kidnaps Peach, 
does he eventually want to marry her or does he just kidnap her? Because in this one, like, he officially wants to marry her. Like, that's the plot. Like, he has to stop um, Bowser from marrying Peach. So, yeah. I mean, everything looks cool. I will be getting it for sure. There's no question about it. Uh, let me know what you all think about Super Mario Odyssey. And let me know um, if you love Mario as much as I do. Okay? If you enjoy my reaction, let me know. Wait, no. I'll do this Mario style. If you enjoy it. Whoa. I don't think I can do my whole outro with that voice. But I would try for your entertainment. If you, en if you enjoyed my reaction, let me know what you thought. Links to all my social media we will be down below in, in the description box. If you enjoyed the video, give it a, a like. That's too high. It's not... If you win, that's it, that's it. If you would enjoy this, is that it? Screw it. If you enjoy this the video, give the like button the thumbs up, the share it, and the tap subscribe to join the Mad Squad on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. My name's Joe. 8K, Mad Joe FC. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out.